Today we will talk about the birth of the first elements of life, of space exploration, and hidden riches in the Earth's belly. I'm Sanjana Curtis, and this is episode two of Stardust, a series where you and I will do a deep dive into the elements of the periodic table, where in the universe these elements were created, astrophysically speaking, their role on Earth, in life, and in science. The star of the show today is hydrogen, the first element of the periodic table and also the lightest element with just one proton in its atomic nucleus. The synthesis of hydrogen goes all the way back to the birth of the universe itself. After the Big Bang, the universe was a soup of quarks and gluons, and from this quark-gluon plasma, neutrons and protons, which are hydrogen nuclei, began to condense. As the universe expanded and cooled, some of the protons and neutrons fused together to form deuterium, a heavier isotope of hydrogen. Other light elements like helium and a tiny bit of lithium were also created in this earliest phase of synthesis of new nuclei called Big Bang nucleosynthesis. Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe and it dominates the compositions of stars as well as gas giant planets like Jupiter. On Earth, however, pure hydrogen Hydrogen is very difficult to find because the Earth doesn't have enough gravity to hold on to it. The hydrogen that we do find on Earth is mostly present in compounds such as water and in fact the name hydrogen means born of water. Speaking of which, life on Earth likely began in the vast oceans that cover most of the Earth's surface. But what I find incredibly cool is that an element that was formed in the aftermath of the birth of the universe itself, after all these eons, allows us to explore space. The taming of liquid hydrogen, an extremely powerful rocket propellant, which has to be stored at negative 423 Fahrenheit, may be one of NASA's greatest technical achievements. In fact, liquid hydrogen is the signature fuel of the US space program, and it's used by many countries around the world to launch satellites. Now, the development of hydrogen as fuel has a long history that I cannot get into today, but you might be interested in looking into something called Project Suntan, which was a super secret US Air Force mission to develop a plane that flies using hydrogen. When we burn hydrogen with oxygen it produces water and this reaction has helped take us all the way to the moon. Now hydrogen and oxygen combining to produce water is a very clean reaction and for this reason hydrogen is a potential clean fuel. The difficulty though is that most of the ways of producing hydrogen already involve fossil fuels and cause pollution. Yet other ways of producing hydrogen are too expensive, there are technical difficulties as well making it difficult to mass produce and transport it. But scientists are still exploring hydrogen as a clean energy source, for example a team of scientists at Rice University very recently figured out a way to produce hydrogen from plastic waste in a cost-effective way. And in a huge surprise, vast reserves of naturally occurring hydrogen were found in Mali, leading scientists to wonder if other such reserves exist and if we can harness them to use hydrogen as a clean fuel. If you liked this video, you should know that it has been made possible thanks to the National Science Foundation. I'm currently an NSF postdoctoral fellow at UC Berkeley.